prayed with us today. You pray today that God will have His way in everything that is said and done. Uh, Paul uh, had everything figured out before I left the house, but that didn't turn out to be actually true. Amen. So you pray today that God will just have His way. Amen. In everything. I started once to have a children's church today. All at once the Lord said, no, don't. So we're going to try to get back to it next week. But I feel like that uh, th this message is, is very important today. Amen. And I, I, I just felt like everybody needed to be in here. Amen. And I, you say, preacher, you don't go by no set schedule. No, if you do, you get in trouble. Amen. Amen. I believe it just left the Lord have His way. Amen. And what comes out, comes out. Amen. Amen. What, uh, whatever happens after that, that's up to the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm only the deliverer today. Amen. Am I? Amen. So I'm going to deliver you a little bit of mail and what you do with it. That's entirely up to you. Amen. I know a lot of things I get in. I'm all the time getting things for uh, credit cards. Want me to take out credit cards. And, amen. I just cut them up and throw them in file 13. Amen. 13. amen. amen. Some other uh, trash comes in. I just throw it away. Amen. But uh, there's some things worth keeping. Yes. Amen. 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 There's some things worth mm -hmm. keeping. I think a lot of times people come to church on uh, Sunday morning, they got everything else but God on their mind. Uh -oh. Amen. And after the message gets done, they more or less just put the message in file 13. That's right. Amen. Boy, well, we need to pay close attention when we're in God's house. Amen. Amen. That the Lord might help us. <laughs> We were sitting over there and there was a piece of scripture popped on my mind. Me and Brother Eddie was sitting there. Amen. It took me a few minutes to find it. Amen. And then once I found it, I found something that I wasn't looking for. Amen. 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 That's the way it usually works. So, amen. And I, uh, so the, uh, the thought of my message today, I would like to use for a thought, are you leaving what you come with. Amen. Are you leaving with what you come with? Amen. Now, it's going to make sense here in a few minutes. Amen. I see people looking at me like you've done lost your ever love and life. But it's going to make sense in a few minutes. Amen. Amen. But before we read anything, let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's a good God that we come to you with thankful hearts, thanking you, Lord, for this day, thanking you, God, for loving us. And Lord, we thank you, Father, for another opportunity, God, of being in your house. And Lord, we pray today that, Father, you would have your way, God, in everything, Lord, that is said and done. Father, we pray today, God, that if we would have done anything or said anything throughout this week, Lord, that would hinder this in any way, Father, we pray, Lord, that you'd forgive us of it. God, pull us up close to the cross of God to make preaching easy. And Lord, we pray to your Father today, God, everything that is accomplished, Lord, will not fail, Father, to bow our head and, Lord, to give you the praise. For, Father, we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. And amen, amen. and amen. amen. You know, as we begin to look in the Scriptures, amen, I've got uh, two pieces of Scripture that I want to read to you right off of the bat. Amen. And one of them is going to be in Isaiah. Amen. Chapter number 64. The other one's going to be in Jeremiah. Amen. Chapter number 2. Amen. I want you to listen uh, to the reading of God's Word. Amen. In Isaiah chapter number 63 and verse number 6. Amen. 64 and verse number 6. He said, But we all are still as an unclean thing. Amen. And all of our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Amen. amen. Then over in Jeremiah, amen, in chapter number uh, chapter number two, amen, and down in verse number uh, 22, amen, I want you to listen. He said, for though... Thou wash thee with nitra, and take thee much soap. 
Yet thy iniquity, she is marked before me, saith the Lord God. Amen. So uh, we, we find out, amen, uh, this morning in the, in the Word of God that each and every one of us, we come into this world lost and undone mm -hmm. without God. We read that this morning over in our Sunday school lesson in, uh, in uh, uh, Psalms chapter number 5 whenever David said in my mother's womb was I conceived. Amen. And I was brought forth into iniquity. So there's no doubt in our mind that every one of us in here today, if we're not sinners now, we was a sinner. Amen. Amen. There was a time Amen. That our uh, all of our righteousness and everything that we done was filthy before God. Amen. There wasn't any good thing about us. Amen. Amen. Whenever God put us out of the garden. Amen. So uh, we want to show you some things today in the Word of God that might be able to help you. The greatest problem, amen, number one, the greatest problem that man has ever had has been sin. Amen. 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 It's always amen. been always. sin. Amen. Regardless of what kind of problems we've had down through life, if you trace it all back, it all all comes back to sin. Amen. Amen. A greediness is caused by sin. Amen. A proud look is caused by sin. Right. Amen. 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 A liar is caused by right. sin. A thief is caused by sin. An adulteress is caused by sin. A whoremonger is caused by sin. A coveter of covenant everybody else's stuff is caused by sin. A proud look is caused Amen. by sin. A lying tongue Amen. is caused by sin. Amen. So we see everything in our life Thank that you, we do in this flesh is caused by sin. A laziness is caused by sin. Amen. Amen. This evening, buddy, I tell you, if we done what God said, we'd be a hard worker of the field. Amen. And Instead of being a lazy person. And so we find out it was something that we was all born with. Amen. Tonight they say cancer cells is in every human being that is born. Some of them have an immune system tight enough that the world we fight it off. Others can't. And therefore sin comes. But the cells are in every human being might I say in your nature there is a seed of sin amen that little child that just come into the world it has that seed of sin in its life if it's not taught right amen and I brought right. up right amen. it probably ain't gonna live right amen and I sin is an awful thing a mighty man's had a problem with it ever since the beginning of time. And because we was all born of Adam, a sin brings destruction. A sin brings defeat. A sin brings broken homes. A sin brings hungry children going to bed. A sin brings a lot of problems in mind in your Amen. life today. Amen. But brother, let me tell you, I'm glad today you do not have to live in Amen. sin. There Amen. is a better way. There is a living way. And we struggle all the time with this thing called sin. You know America's biggest problem, it ain't the president, it ain't the Congress, it's sin. Amen. Sin is going to be the run of Amen. our nation. Amen. There's a lot of people who love sin. Right. There's a lot of people who love being involved in sin. I mean, let me tell you, I hate sin. And brother, I can't stand sin. I don't like to be around sin. Amen. Tonight I like uh, the righteousness of God. Amen. Say, preacher, I've had a lot of problems in my life. And the 
it's all on the count of sin. A brother is sleeping sin. We'll bring destruction into your life. It'll bring death into your body. It'll kill your living soul in the burning hell of sin. It's an awful thing. We can take ourselves. We can wash ourselves. Amen. Tonight we can do everything. But the Bible says we are marked. Amen. Tonight and God knows who we are. Right. Amen. What a lot of people need to realize. It don't matter whether you're around the righteous crowd. God knows who you are. Right. It don't matter how many times you kneel at this altar. God knows who you are. Yeah. It don't matter how many times you testify, how many times you sing, how many times you preach. God knows who you are. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you tell your next door neighbor that you are. God knows who you are. It don't matter how many gospel tracts you pass out. God knows who you are. Hey man, tonight God knows it's all about you. And if you're a sinner, you're marked, amen, for the day of judgment, amen, amen. tonight. It's marked, you right. can't erase it. It's marked, you can't take it away. It's marked, you ain't got power to do anything with it. There's only one that can remove the mark, and his name is amen. Jesus. Amen, tonight, boy, I'm telling you, I'm a firm believer. If you're saved, you're going to live Right, talk right, right, dress right, uh, and be right uh, all the Amen. time. Amen. 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 You're going to let that light shine uh, out of your body. Uh, you're going to let it shine out of your light. Uh, you're not going to be cussing uh, and praising Amen. in the same breath. Amen. 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 The two don't go together. Uh, either we Amen. live right uh, and go to heaven or live wrong and go to hell. Uh, Sin wants to claim your soul. It wants to claim your life. A sin wants to take you down to destruction. A sin wants to destroy your ways. Amen tonight, but I'm glad. I thank God there's a healer and his name is Jesus. He's the only one that can heal. So am I. The biggest problem that we have in our life is sin. Amen. Amen. That's right, brother. Come on. Right. Number two, we struggle. Yes, we do. Amen. Every person in here struggles. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're made up of. Amen. Tonight, life just don't give us an easy street and say, here, live right. on. Right. Amen. Tonight, every one of us in here struggles. Yes. Amen. Some of us struggle from payday to payday. I'm one of them. Yes. Amen. Tonight, but listen tonight. Amen. My whole life has been hard. Amen. I, I've worked ever since I've been about 13 years old. Amen. Tonight, boy, life ain't never given me anything except a lot of heartaches and trouble. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I know whenever I got hurt, they tried to get me sent tile on disability. I said, I ain't going to do it. Amen. Tonight, if I can put one foot in front of another, amen, I don't yeah. want disability. Yes, amen. amen. I don't want the government paying my amen. way. Amen. Yes, I want to make my own way. Amen. amen. That's the reason God uh, put me here. I realize there's some people that can't work. Amen tonight. But if you'd get all the ones off of disability that was able to work and put them to work, disability would have a little bit. Amen. 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 We've always struggled with life. Amen tonight. We struggle to make house payments. We struggle to make car payments. We struggle to put food on the table and to keep a roof over our Head. Amen. Tonight we struggle with these things. How can you struggle with them? On the count of sin. Amen. Amen. Tonight the Bible said, For whatsoever we sow, that shall we also reap. Amen. Boy, when I was a sinner, I was a wild one, and I did a lot of sowing, and today I'm doing a lot of reaping for the sowing that I did do. 
Jackie of those things. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you, I can lie to you. I tell you to get saved. And your life to be a bed of roses, but that's a lie. Amen. Tonight, Jesus said, I will take care of your past. Ain't nobody else can do that. And God said, I'm the one. Amen, I will remove the stains of sin in your life. I will wash your garments. Amen. And I have the robe I had on. I was filthy. And the one I got on now is holy. Regardless of how you get there, you're going to struggle to get to either one of them. That's right. Yeah. It don't matter. The Bible said that it rains upon the just and the unjust yeah. alike. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God has no respected person. Right. We struggle in this life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tonight we struggle, me and my wife. Amen. Tonight I build a home in West Virginia. Amen. This scene, and I figure, man, I'll be here until. Uh, the cows come home, mm -hmm. I retire. Hey Amen. Probably the house I'm going to die in. Hey Amen. Boy, was that a wrong idea. Hey Amen. Hey yes. Amen. Tonight, yes. about the time we got the house all fixed up, and hey Amen. Got the yard pretty and green. Hey Amen. Tonight, I lived there for a few years, and God said, Well, son, I don't need you here anymore. Hey Amen. I got someplace right. else I want hey. you to go. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Tonight, and we moved. Hey Amen. Tonight, and then about the time we almost had that house paid off. Hey Amen. Had the lawn pretty. Hey Amen. Flowers are coming up everywhere. Amen. God come to me again and said, hey, I don't need you here anymore. Amen. Tonight, I, I looked up, boy, I prayed that night. I said, God, I'm getting too old for this stuff. Amen. I'm 50 years old. Amen. Uh, six more years, this house is going to be mine. And now you want me to leave it behind. Amen. And start out all over. Amen. Tonight, I don't have a lot of money in the bank. Amen. I don't even have a savings account in my name. What little a bit I got. Amen. The biggest part of it's in my wallet. And you just want me to walk away from everything. The Lord said, yeah. He said, because where I'm going to take you, right. the pastures are greener. Hey. Amen. Hey. Amen. On getting closer home. Hey. Amen. 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 I guess what we done. I stuck a for sale sign in the yard. I packed the nuts and moved to Olivia. Amen. Hey. 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 I've ever Made in my life, I've been a struggle since I've been here. Amen. Sure have. Hey man, when I come, the church was small. Hey man, it's almost full. Amen. God's blessed. Hey man, we're getting saved. Hey man, tonight it ain't about a numbers game. It's about Amen. being in the will of God. Amen. Still struggle, and the one of these days when I take my last breath, hey man, struggling's gonna be over, and joy's gonna set in. And the Bible said in Psalms, he said, weeping endureth for the night, and the joy cometh in the morning. And all one of these days ain't gonna be a morning, and that you ain't never gonna get over. I'm glad tonight. That you was born with. You can get rid of it. You can let the blood wash it away. Put your faith and your trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. And then number three, we got people that worry mm -hmm. about the cares of life. That's right. Hey, Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, you know, hey, listen, this is going to get real interesting. Hey, Amen. We worry about the cares of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. We worry about our job security. <coughs> Amen. We worry about the place we're going to live that we call home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tonight right. we worry about That's our true. finances. Amen. Tonight if you're sitting in here and say, preacher, I don't worry about any of that stuff. Quit lying to me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Quit lying to God. Amen. We worry about our family. Amen. Amen. We worry about our home. Mm -hmm. 
We worry about our children. We Amen. worry about That's our right. grandchildren. Amen. 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 Tonight we worry about them that we come in contact with. Yes. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you, we worry yes. about the cares of this life. Amen. Tonight, why worry? Amen. Tonight, I guarantee you tonight you can worry about tomorrow. Amen. Until you turn gray-headed like I have and the biggest part of it fall out. And the Lord's <laughs> going to be exactly like tomorrow's right. going to be. Amen. Amen. All your worrying ain't going to change it. Amen. 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 All your thinking about ain't going to change it. All your planning ain't going to change it. Amen. Tomorrow is going to bring what tomorrow Amen. is going to bring. Amen. Amen. And only the good Lord, He only, He's the only one that knows. Amen. Tonight, what tomorrow is going to bring. Amen. 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 Tonight, so why worry about the cares of life. Amen. Matthew, a chapter number 6. Amen. And verse number 25. He said, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for what your life and, and what you shall eat or what you shall drink and nor yet your body of what you shall put on. Is not life more than meat and the body than raiment. Amen. Now listen to verse number 26. He said, Behold the fowls of the air, and they sow not, neither do they reap, and nor to gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Listen tonight, God takes care of everything that God has created. Amen. And you might not believe this, and if you're in here, you can think you come from monkey or you want to. Amen. I know that God created me. Amen. 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 I'm a person that is made yes. in the image of God. Amen. 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 Tonight the Bible said uh, we don't need to worry a lot uh, about what we're going to put on or what we're going to eat uh, or right. what we're going to wear. Amen. 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 Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what, uh, if a lot of people today, uh, if they tried to dress and uh, impress God uh, as much as they impress people, uh, we'd probably would be a whole lot better off and because a lot of you would be real pretty in the sight of God. Amen. Tonight, but God ain't a looking at that. And God said, hey, I made you, I created right. you out of the dust of the earth and I got an almighty hand younger in glory that is able to take care of you. Amen. Tonight, boy, if it hadn't been for God's goodness, I'd have been out on the street somewhere were. Amen. Tonight, but because of God and His love and His mercy for me, me and me back in uh, a while back, and a house to burn down, everything in it. And my boy had on uh, what he wore to school. I had a pair of old holy blue jeans uh, and a shirt and a jacket. Uh, and my wife had on a pair of slacks uh, and a blouse and a coat. Uh, and that's all we had. Everything else burned up. I did a bum and bag. I didn't have to. I had a God that was looking over me, honey. Listen to my God is able to do the impossible. I'm glad tonight I serve a God that when our back is up against the wall, He shows up right on time. Hey, honey, there's one thing for sure we're born to die. The cemetery is waiting on you. The morgue's waiting on you. The funeral hall is waiting on you. And it is for sure. If Jesus don't come back, we're going to need him by the way he's on death. And you want to know what caused death? An awful thing called sin. Uh, Romans 6 uh, and 23 said for the wages uh, of sin is death uh, but the gift of God uh, is eternal life. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't like the first part of it uh, but I love the last part. Uh, Amen. Uh, boy, I'm glad uh, uh, today, honey, uh, we worry about things uh, and we should never uh, be worried about uh, We worry about everything uh, but how Bless him, Lord. How often 
do we worry about getting close to God? Amen. 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 That's right. Right. How many times does that worry cross our mind that we just need to take our Bible and just get close to God? Amen. 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 That we just need to get by ourselves with God. Amen. How many times does that worry cross our mind? We can miss church on a Sunday. Amen. And it never enters our mind of Christ. Amen. Tonight we never give it a second thought. Amen. By not being there. But we worry about everything else. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, they people, only time they open up their Bibles when they come into the house of That's God. right. Amen. 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 Tonight, boy, I can tell how much you read the Bible. Amen. I can tell how much you read the Bible. If I tell you to go to Isaiah, it takes you 15 minutes to find Isaiah. I know you ain't reading very much. Amen. Amen. Tonight, if I mention the book, I'll put it in the Bible. You got to go to the thumb index to find it. Amen. Tonight, there's something wrong with that picture. Amen. Tonight, but the Bible says we worry about the cares of this life. We worry about the cares of this life. I know to you we have a responsibility. <coughs> Amen. Husbands, you got a you got a responsibility Amen. to your wife. Right. Amen. Your responsibility is to love her and to cherish her and to take care of her and to make sure right. that her needs is supplied. Amen. 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 Tonight you might say, well. Well, preacher, I, I I don't know so much about that. Like, that's what the Bible says. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What the Bible says, the Bible, Bible gives very special instructions right. to the husband. Mm -hmm. He said, husbands, love <coughs> your wives Amen. as Christ Amen. loved the church. Amen. 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 Tonight, how much did Christ love the church? He got everything he had for yes. the church. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, husbands in here, you ought to do the same thing for your wife. Say, amen. Yes, amen. Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you why. Amen. You need to be good to your husband. Say, amen. 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 Tonight, boy, I'm telling you, every time they every time they lose a hair, don't fuss at them for losing a hair. You might cause them to lose two. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you why. <laughs> what did the Bible say about that? The Bible said over in the book of Proverbs, he said, I'd rather live on the top of a roof than live right. inside with a raw and warm. Amen. 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 Right. Right. Honey, I don't want nobody complaining on everything I do. Amen. 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 Tonight, boy, if they start complaining on everything I do, I might go fishing and get my way home. Amen. Listen tonight. Listen. Listen. We worry about the cares of this life. Amen. Tonight, when we need to worry about getting right with God. Amen. We're going to leave this world one of these days. Amen. We're going to leave it as sure as you're born. That's as sure as you're going to die. Amen. God only let you live for a little while on this side. Amen. Tonight he let you live on this side that you might get ready to live on the other side. Amen. Tonight we don't only worry about life, but we worry about death. Amen. Tonight. Boy, I'm telling you, somebody gets cancer, first thing hits her mind. I wonder how much longer they're going to live. I wonder how long they're going to be with us. Amen. Amen. You let a dreadful disease come in and a family say, boy, I'm telling you what, they'll pray if they ain't prayed in 59 years, amen. If they find out somebody's sick, amen, tonight they'll gather around, amen, the family, and they'll want to pray. And the only thing is they don't know how to pray. And when they do pray, they can't get in touch with anybody. Listen tonight, boy. I'm telling you tonight, we worry about death. Amen. Tonight, why fear death? Unless you got something hiding in your closet that you don't want to take with you. Amen tonight. But we worry about death. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, even the Thessalonians was worried about them that had died. They weren't worried about the living. They said, what happened to them that died? Amen tonight. What's going to happen to them whenever the Lord comes again? Listen tonight. You might not be worried about your own self, but you might be better off if you did. Amen. Do not worry about your fellowship and your walk with God. Amen. Because it is going to happen. Don't you realize that's no longer that we've been in church this morning. Thousands of people across America has done already went out and met God. You could have been one of them. And the God spared your life. And that you might be able to hear something. 
Ecclesiastes. Amen, brother. Saying tonight that we're in a race. Yes, we are. Amen. And we cannot retain the Spirit. Amen. Amen. You might be able to stop a lot of things, but you can't stop God. Amen. You might be able to slow a lot of things down, but you can't slow God down. Amen. Amen. God is going to do it in His time. Are we going to leave out of this world with what we come into this world with? Listen to what Timothy said. He said, we come into this world with nothing. And we're going to leave this world with nothing. And the only thing that we're going to leave this world with is what's in our soul. Amen. It's what's in our soul. Now, we was all born with that awful seed of sin in our life. That's right. Every one of us in here, every one of us in here, regardless of how rich and famous you are, you can't be with that seed of sin. That's right. Regardless of how poor you are, you can't be with that seed of sin. Amen. Tonight sin brings forth death. That's the reason the righteous is going to die. Because the righteous at one time was sin. Amen. I was a sinner. Whenever I got lost, I was a sinner. You say, preacher, it's hard for a young boy to make it. Hey, I was 21 years old when God saved me. Amen. 21 years old. Best thing that ever happened. Amen. 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 Best decision I ever made was to follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tonight, and more since I followed Him, everything else has just failed Amen. right in line. Amen. 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 Right. Giving us some stepping blocks. Amen. To step up on. Amen. Tonight, listen tonight. Sin will lead you through this world where you're sure paying. Amen. Amen. Tonight, you know how it comes so many divorces in America? Because of sin. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to share with you one thing and then we're going to close. And this is showing you that you don't have to leave this world the same way you come in. You don't have to leave that having only what you had to begin. You can leave that having something different. Amen. Amen. Listen to what? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 says, it says, O death, where is thy sting? And O grave, where is thy victory? Amen. Chapter, uh, verse 56, the sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. Amen. But more here in verse number 57, it gets real good. You listen to what it says. He said, But thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory Amen. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know how come we got so many people that comes in to church on Sunday morning and comes in on Sunday night and they sit there on the pew looking like they lost their best friend? You want to know why? Because they don't have victory. Because they don't have victory. They're sitting in a church surrounded by God's people living a defeated life because of the devil and they don't have the victory. Amen. Tonight you get I've had people who come through these doors and man I get to preach and they get up and walk out and slam the door. Mm -hmm. Amen. I heard I heard one man one man told me, I went out and checked on one time. He said, Preacher, I ain't listening to that stuff. Mm -hmm. Listen tonight. He didn't have the victory. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. Tonight are you sitting in here this morning without the victory? Are you sitting in here this morning and don't have no victory in your life? If you don't have no victory, 
There's either two things that can happen in a battle. There's only two things that can happen in a battle. You say, preacher, what's that? Number one, we're going to be defeated. That's right. Or number two, we're going to be winners. Amen. Right. Amen. They ain't but two ways to go right. out. That's right. Amen. They, we either go out lost and not done without God, or we go out saved through the blood Amen. of the Lord right. and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. There's only two ways to live in this old world that we live in. We either live a life that is being defeated by the devil. Right. Amen. Tonight, if we carry all of this load <laughs> with us, amen, or else we can have victory in our life today through this man called Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. I don't want to wait till I get to the graveyard to make sure everything's amen. all right. right. Amen. I want to have victory today. Amen. 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 Tonight, I can celebrate victory today I just as like as if I already went home. Amen. Amen. Because I have that victory through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. These burdens are where you are. These problems in life of where you are. He struggles in life of where you are. Amen. Tonight, these battles that we find in life, it'll drive you crazy. Amen. Tonight, it'll right. cause you to do stupid and irradical things. Amen. Tonight, that's the reason people make some of the most stupidest decisions you've ever seen in your life because they don't have no victory. Amen. If you got Amen. victory, right. God allows you to win the battle. Yes. We got people all the time. People all the time. They come to church for help. Say, I need help. I need help financially. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a good way to solve that problem. And you say, preacher, how's that? Quit spending more than what you bring. <laughs> If you're going out, spout is bigger than you bring in spout. You don't have a problem. That's right. That's like my boy, whenever he first started off, man, he was making good money. But he was also spending good money. <laughs> and I told him, I said, son, if you make $150 a day and you're spending $175, it ain't going to take you long to dig yourself a hole. Amen. People live above their means. People live above their means. They, they, they say, well, preacher, I look around at people and they own everything. Yeah, they owe everybody in their brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a guy tell me one time, he said, why don't you buy that new expensive car? I said, what good would it do me? He said, what do you mean what good it do you? Well, if I buy it, I'd have to leave it parked in the car because parked in the yard because I ain't got enough money to put gas in the right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it as an ornament. I don't need it. But the struggles of this life can really get you down. I'm asking you this morning, are you going to leave in the same shape that you was born in? Are you going to leave and there ain't nothing behind you but a sin trail? Because the Bible said even though you take soap and wash you're born. God knows who you are. Amen. I believe this message was preached. God don't ever have us to preach a message by accident. That's right. That's right. God always, always, when God delivers a message, God has a heart. God has somebody that's <coughs> going to If they ever head bowed, every Christian man will pray. <laughs>